You know when was the last time I played this game? At the release date. <laughs> Purely because I don't play Battle Royale games at all, you know. That's just my style. There are, you know, a couple things that I have an issue with this game. It's just annoying to play. That's my philosophy. If I'm annoyed at playing something, I don't play it at all. <laughs> but we're here to check out the Season 1, huh? We're actually on the PC VR side now of this game. I wanna really check out the upgrade, kinda. What's the difference between the standalone version of the PC VR version? I kinda, like, wanna see if it's, like, more dynamic. With those games, if there's crossbar and crossplay involved, I wanna play the best experience I can. And sometimes games that are on the quest standalone are way better than on the PC VR version. You know what I mean? There's some couple stuff that I'm interested. Mostly balance changes or just gameplay fixes. I'm gonna go change language because I'm in France. Thanks game. But <laughs> I speak English. Mm -hmm. I changed the language but some things are still in French. Okay. Whatever game. So give me the tutorial. I think it's this one. So new stuff. Where is it? <laughs> Did they even add to the tutorial? Or maybe not. There literally seems to be nothing. That's weird. Maybe they just added to the main core of the gameplay but like they missed the tutorial for some reason? Oh here we go. It's just spawned somewhere. Okay. So we have Katana. Whoa. Okay, I'm interested how they solve the physics. Basically, I don't think you can just touch like, you know, people with weapons. You have to actually swing. Okay, just... Oh, damn. I think it's dependent on how big of a swing you take and how strong it is. But like with my strength, that's kind of one-shotting, which seems kind of OP. I'm coming. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, just straight up. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> 75 seems to be the standard or like the maximum. What's about like the, I don't know, light swing? 65? That's still a lot for like just a light swing. Like you don't really have to pass one. Pretty much just have to swing and hit. That's pretty much it. Let me go from the above. Big. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, Katana is OP, but I wanted something else. Stop following me. Stalkers. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Ow. Jesus, those sound effects. Have a grenade. You don't even throw it, you just press it. Okay, weird. I feel like I might be the melee person in this game, actually. Like, shooting is fun and all, but I think sneaking up on people with just a weapon seems to be a very good tactic because you can't miss it. <laughs> I don't know where the hell are the other weapons, so let's just start one match at least. I thought there was this battle pass, but I really don't care. <laughs> it's like, you know, those skins or stuff like that. I would get things that really look cool, but like, I don't feel like the game is still in the position that it's really worth to get that. Especially for me, because I don't play the game. <laughs> yeah, let's play. I guess squad because there's this bot battle, but apparently the bots are ruthless. I just want to see the main gameplay. I don't even see like the weapon in the list. Is it this? Oh, yeah, actually it's this. I didn't see it on the map, so I don't know. I honestly don't even see like the difference between the PC VR version and the Quest one. To me, the graphics are still simplistic, so I don't think there's a reason to play the PC version at all. There's literally no benefits, I feel like, if you're looking for the latency and stuff like that. Those milliseconds count, especially if you don't really have the upgrade that you should have with graphics. It's weird. It's just weird. I uh, really wanted to be an assassin here, but oh well. Am I surprised I didn't do anything? Not at all. I mean, those metal weapons are gonna be really hard to use anyways. Especially if you're going against a shotgun in your face. There were just six people. I thought this game is like populated or like a lot of people are playing. Maybe that was just like, you know, one match or whatever. But it really seemed empty. First of all, it's weekend. And second of all, we have this season one thing going on. So I thought this game is like heavily populated, okay? I don't know. It's hard to, you know, do an update of this game because the features that you should notice from the update are very much scattered around the map. It's not like you're gonna notice it in the first match. We're starting with a knife, so that's fun. You definitely can play some one for all knife stabbing. To me, Population 1 is still the same stuff. Like, for me, this game does not change at all. And it's not like it should change gameplay wise. To me, personally, it's just boring. There's no versatility in mechanics or whatever. It's just Battle Royale in VR. Simplified. And just that. I know it's just not appealing for 
for me personally because battle royals are not my thing at all that's pretty much why you don't see me playing this on the other hand i thought the upgrade from the pc vr would be way better compared to quest one but i really feel like i'm playing on quest <laughs> i don't know why definitely happy for the melee update for sure because this is something that just feels natural stabbing people you know especially in a game that relies heavily on the combat side although it's kind of hard to even connect because you would have to really sneak an up on someone but it's hard when they hear your footsteps behind you very loudly like you can really hear someone from like 100 meters vr wise so it's kind of like a novelty in the competitive side i feel like still but i honestly thought there's more people playing but it is what it is